So we've done a lot of good work with Google Forms, and now I want to show you some of the more advanced things that you can do. We're just going to click on this uh, Google Form. I shared it out with my other account. It's a multiple intelligence quiz that I did at a session, a presentation I did. First thing I'll show you is that you can do um, data and formulas just like you could in an Excel spreadsheet. Here's how you do it. You just kind of click on the cell you want to click on the output. Let's say I want to get an average of these numbers. Click on the cell you want the output to go to. Click on the function button and click on average. And then you're going to select the cells that you want to average. Once you have them selected, hit enter. It'll do it for you. You can do that as well with sum, count, max, mins. There's more functions in here, but they all work pretty much the same way. You select the cells, hit enter, and it'll do the calculation. Another thing I want to show you is you can also, in your form menu, turn off your form from accepting res responses. This is really helpful if you've got a deadline on your form and you don't want people to bypass it. When you reach the deadline for the form for people to turn their survey data in, you just go down here, click on Accepting Responses, it'll turn the survey off. So that whenever people go to take it, it'll say, I'm sorry, the time has passed, there's no longer accepting responses. Also, I want to show you that you can save this uh, spreadsheet in a couple different formats. If you go to File on your spreadsheet, go to Download As, you can download it as a CSV, HTML, text, um, an Excel spreadsheet if you want to do some more advanced things with it. Open Office or a PDF file. All right, uh, so that's the spreadsheet. Some things on the spreadsheet. I want to show you also how to embed your form. Let's say I want to take my form, and instead of having them go to this link, I want to actually take the form and embed it on a site so they don't have to do anything. They don't have to click on anything. They just go to my site and take the form. The way to do that is you're going to go to Form and you're going to go to Embed Form in a Web Page. It gives you this link, and all you do is just copy it. Either right click, copy, or select it all and hit Control C, or if you're using a Mac, uh, just copy it. Uh, one thing, and then all you'll do then is you'll paste that into your blog or website. That's the embed code. One thing I do want to show you at the end of this embed code if you go to do your embed code and the width or the height is messed up, you want to take a look at the end of the code. Because here is where it tells you the width right now is 760, height is 1412, uh, there's no border around it. You can change all that within the code. So if it comes on your site and it looks a little bit skinny or wide, you can change the pixels here to match whatever you need it to be. Alright, uh, so that was some of the embed code. The next thing I want to do is show you a couple things you can do with the actual form. I'm going to go to edit form. And one thing I can I want to show you is that you can add sections to your form. Sections and page breaks. Here's how you do it. You can click on add item, go down to section header, and you can put the section name here. I'm just going to put section 3. And you can drag that to your different sections. So you can break the form up. So you can have section 1, section 2, section 3. It's a nice easy way to break up the form. You can also add a page break. Click on Add Item, go to Page Break. I've already got a page 2, so I'm going to do a page 3 real quick. Hit Done. And again, this will do different pages, and I just want to show you what that looks like. I'm going to drag a question down into page 3, and then I'm going to go to the live form to show you what that looks like. Alright, so I've got this form, and I'm just going to, there's a couple um, required boxes, so I'll make sure I fill that in. So we've got your questions. Here's my section header, section 2, section 3. And then down here, instead of a submit button, it's now going to say continue. It takes you to page 2. Again, continue. Page 3. And finally, when I've reached the end of my pages, I can hit submit. So that's a, a way to customize your form a little bit. Next thing I want to show you is a little bit about how to add HTML code to your description in your form. I'm just going to show you a little bit and then I'm going to direct you to my blog which I have full directions for. In this top section here where you've got uh, your description or what the directions you want to do, you can actually use HTML code in here if you're good at it. Now, if you know how to do it, this is where you can put it. 
So let's say I want this to be bold. I will put the HTML code coding for bold, which is caret b caret. And there it is. And then I can end that bold right here. Caret slash backward slash b caret. And what that does is it saves that code into your description box. And then whenever you go to the live form, it will bold that area. I want to show you in my blog. To get you more full directions on that, I've got a whole separate video on that. If you go to my blog, which is edtechsteve.blogspot.com, on January the 7th, 2011, if you go down to that uh, date, you will find the actual video of how to do that and some HTML codes to play with and some things like that. So if you're interested in that, um, you can check out that blog post that will give you more extensive directions. Alright, so uh, this video has gone on a bit long. Uh, so there's a lot of things you can do with Google Forms and I hope they're very helpful to you and they're really good ways to collect data. Thank you.